Hey guys, all right, so I am back today and I'm gonna show you guys how I got this gorgeous curly fro using her given hair. So as you can see in the box, it first comes in with sample sizes. And then um, here are the three bundles that I'm using. It's curly texture in 12 inches. It's so soft. I'm using the spandex dome cap to put it on my mannequin head and I'm using pins to hold down the cap onto the mannequin head. So I'm starting off by cutting the hair and unraveling the first bundle. I used only 12 inches because I wanted um, an afro look. If any of you guys watch Peak Mill, she actually inspired me to do this look, but it ain't come out like hers, but it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> so we're gonna start off by, um, first I like to put the needle through the weft two times and then I start sewing it down onto the cap and we're basically gonna sew the hair in a circular motion all throughout until we get to the middle side note so when you first start sewing down onto the part that has the elastic band try to only sew through the cloth the material and don't sew through the elastic band because then your wig is gonna be tight and it won't be able to stretch like you want it <music> So in Peak Mill's video, she actually started off by sewing a length of the weft under the cap that's closest to your forehead. And in hindsight, I do wish I had done this because it does help with blending um, the wig cap with your own hair. So I wore this wig as a full wig. So basically, I have absolutely no hair out. So you do want to make sure that your blending is pretty impeccable. So <laughs> in hindsight, if you do plan on trying this out, definitely sew a length of the weft under the cap as well. I was only using three bundles and since this is a full wig I had to be really strategic with how I was placing the tracks because I didn't want to run out of hair. Side note, if your head is as big as mine and <laughs> my head is pretty big, I was about to say which one but there's only one. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah so if your head is pretty big um, I may urge you to get four bundles rather than three if you're gonna do a full wig because you may find yourself running out of hair. Or you can just strategically place the tracks so that the front part, um, the front tracks that's gonna be closest to your forehead are close together and then the back you can space them out a little more but still do the circular motion. So as you can see we are nearing the end of the circle and you're just gonna continue sewing in a circle until you can't sew anymore. It's okay if there's a little bit left showing because the hair is curly and it's big so you really won't see it anyway. So yeah, that's basically all I did. So yeah, as you can see, there are some spots that are have quite a bit of space left out between the tracks. So I'm just going in with the remaining hair and I'm closing those spaces in. So like I said, um, I would make the tracks closer together in the part where you know will be the front and then space out the back. So now that I'm done with the wig, I'm going in and I'm co-washing the hair with just a cheap conditioner. And just so you guys can see how the hair does with tangling and shedding, I'm running my hands through the hair and I only got a little bit of shedding, which is pretty normal for the first co-wash, but after this, I really don't get that much shedding with this hair. Also, the moment that water touches this hair is really when you start to see the beauty of the hair. Um, it gets so soft, the curls elongate, and it's plush, and it basically acts like real hair. So now I'm using this curls product to moisturize the hair, and I'm gonna start blow drying and also diffusing, which you don't see, but I did use a diffuser. And to get more of the afro look, I started to comb out the curls a little bit, not too much, just enough so that it could be big and you don't see any of the tracks, yeah. And now it's time to put this bad boy on. My wig actually ended up being exactly my head size, well actually a little tighter, so I didn't need any anything else to really hold the hair down. But you can sew down the wig or sew down an elastic band to make sure the um, wig is tight enough. 
So I just want to show you guys that when I first put on the wig, I honestly was not feeling it. It just wasn't giving me what I expected. I was going for an afro, but it just wasn't giving it to me. So I just wanted to show you guys this to show that not every hairstyle is going to be perfect once you do it, but that doesn't mean you should give up. One more side note, so remember when I said that you should probably sew down a weft under the cap? As you can see, you can kind of see the band a little bit, hence why sewing the weft under the cap would be best. Anyway, so yeah, I wasn't feeling the look, but then I had a realization that BAM! I can put a pin in the front and rock some curly bangs. And my hair went from drab to fab, honey. Drab to fab. I sound like we TV. <laughs> And that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> video.